Hey guys, my name is Arrow, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to C4 jump, how to RPG jump, and how to sticky grenade jump. Now those three things that I just listed are tactics to help you glitch on Call of Duty Modern Warfare for the Wii and Call of Duty World at War for the Wii. Now please feel free to pause and rewind the video at any time because you might get confused, so feel free to do that. And uh, let's get straight to it. So first off, we're going to start off with Call of Duty World at War. Now remember, all these events are going to be taking place in a private match, so that's where we're going to go. You're going to be editing the settings for a private match, and this is where we're going to start. Make your map dome, because that's going to help you practice, and there's a few things I want to show you there. You can choose between TDM or free-for-all, but I prefer TDM because it won't affect your buddies um, if you you know use an explosive or something. Now for the settings, you want to make unlimited time, unlimited score, and then we're going to go to the max health. This is important. You want to make your max health double, and you want to make your, fat, your health regeneration fast. That's very important. Those two are very fast. So make sure you get those right. And last but not least, we're going to turn our radar on in case we have anybody else we're glitching with. So now... Now we're going to get straight to the class, and what you want to do for classes is make a class that has a fast primary weapon, which is basically any SMG. Choose anything in the submachine gun category. I like the MP40 because, well, it's overpowered. Um, sidearm does not matter. Primary grenade, you want to choose this sticky grenade thing that I don't know what it's called. I don't want to even try pronouncing that. And uh, special grenade also does not matter. And then you're going to go straight to your perk 1. You want to put satchel charges on for this class. Um, satchel charges like the C4 of World at War. And for your perk 2, you want to choose something that is not fireworks or flak jacket. Fireworks or flak jacket are bad. So basically, just choose your stopping power. That's pretty much all you need. Um, and for your perk 3, you want to choose your extreme conditioning. Now, you're going to make another class that's literally the exact same thing. Unfortunately, World at War does not off offer a copy class option. Um, you're going to make the same exact class, um, and you're going to change your perk 1 from satchels to bazookas. So now, as you can see... Right here, we have the same class, except for the perk one is changing. That's it. Okay, so now we're going to head over to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We're going to do the same exact thing, but I just want to show you how it's set up on this game as well. So you're first off, you're going to set up for Ambush, TDM, Unlimited Time, Unlimited Score, Max Health uh, is double, Fast Regeneration, and Radar is always on. So now for the Creative class, you're going to make a class like this with the C4s, and a class like this, like... This, there you go, was the RPGs. Now there are two types of satchel jumps. There is a height satchel jump and a distance satchel jump. We're going to start off with height, and what you want to do is throw your satchel on the ground, stand on top of it, and when you're ready, you're going to detonate, pause, then jump. Like that. It's very hard to explain, and it'll only be accomplished through practice. Now we're going to move straight onto the distance satchel jump. What you want to do is place your satchel a few feet in front of you, like so, and instead of pausing, you're going to use that pausing time to walk. So detonate, walk, and then jump. Um, it's very complicated, and again, you have to practice to get it right. Now, for our final piece of information on Call of Duty World at War is our uh, sticky grenade jump. And it's the same thing as a distant satchel jump, except you have limited time. It's, it's a very short thing, and that's very iffy. I'm still a little iffy on that now. So uh, that requires a lot of practice especially, but you won't have to use that as often. Now, um, to practice your satchel jumps, what you want to do is you want to come over to the staircase on dome, and you want to throw your satchel right there, and you're going to do a height or distance, either one, satchel jump over and over again right on the staircase. Your goal is to land right here where I'm standing, right where I'm jumping now, and if you die, then you did it successfully. If you don't die, then that means you did it wrong. So keep practicing until you die every single time like I'm about to do. So I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. I'm just going to go ahead. I just died again. Place the satchel, and when just satchel jump up there, and once you die, there it's perfect. Now, if you're planning to do this on only Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you want to come over here on this Jeep on Ambush, and you want to come to the end, the back side of the truck, and then place your little C4 there and do the same thing. Again, if you die, that means you did it successfully. Now, for our last piece of information, we're going to be doing our bazooka and RPG jumping. Um, as you can see, you can't get on these barrels normally, so what you want to do is bust out your bazooka, um, as every normal person would. You're going to turn around with your back to it, ADS, and look directly at the ground. This time you're going to jump before you shoot. So you're going to jump, then shoot, and then hold your back button as well so you can go backwards. Um, that one's pretty difficult, uh, and you won't be using it as much as Satchers and C4 jumping. Again, RPG, if you want to test your RPG skills, you can come over here on Ambush and use it on this gate. Now this is a little bit higher than those barrels, so it's a little bit harder, but again, it works just as well. So if you get it down, it'll be very helpful with glitching, and that's that. 
So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also, please make sure you learn these tactics as it'll help in future videos of mine, and maybe it will even help you discover glitches of your own. So hopefully you guys did enjoy, and again, as always, toodles.